Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will learn how to build this uh, digital clock using vanilla JavaScript. So let's get started right now. I have uh, my VS Code opened up and I have already created three files index.html, script.js and style.css. Let's start with index.html and I'll do bank and here so it uh, auto fill stuff for us so I'll do digital clock. Let's also add our style uh, style uh, CSS file. So that's going to be style.css and also add our JavaScript file, which is going to be script.js right here. And so first we will be working on the time part and we'll work on the date part uh, after, once we are done with the time part. It's pretty straightforward. Date part is not that tricky. And so on the body, we will create our first div, which is going to be digital clock this thing is going to wrap the whole thing around and here inside digital clock we will have time and inside time we will have a span which is hours and let's just add a placeholder for now and we'll also have span dot colon and just add this colon right here and we will have span dot minutes and also zero zero and we will have span dot colon again and let's have span dot seconds and let's do zero zero once again so and we will also have span dot period uh, this is going to be the so this span will display am am or pm right what time of the day it is so i'll just save it and let's start our server right here i'll stop my previous server and let's go ahead and start this one it will open up in safari but i prefer using google chrome so i'll just refresh this it's the same thing so okay uh things are turning out to be good we, uh, this is the title right here uh okay let's go let's go ahead and add some css so we will jump to style.css file and let's first do some uh sanitary stuff so first i'll do this uh, you can see it does add some margin I think it adds margin uh, around here uh, we we don't want all that stuff we will do our own CSS so we'll remove this first so this is going to be zero padding is going to be zero as well and we'll have box sizing which is going to be border box and uh, when we save it when we save this guy and go back to Chrome and we see those padding and margins are not there anymore. Next thing what we need is good fonts. So hop over to Google fonts, just Google Google fonts and just click on the first link right there. And you will come here. So just type in Nunito and you in click on this guy right here. And we we only need fonts with 500. So uh, this and this. I actually already have I'll just show you what you will do so you will just select select only two of this okay and next thing what we need is import I'll just copy this guy right here move back to VS code and inside your style.css file just paste it right there okay and next thing we also need this guy so that like we are not guessing so just paste it right here and you know before we save let's see like okay this is what it looks and uh, let's just keep it right here vs code right here and save it okay uh, it did update right you know what we can do this as well but no i i i, I like working in full screen <laughs> sorry okay uh, let's go with body and we'll start with height of 100 bh uh, which is viewport height display is going to be flex and justify content in the center and align items in the center this will bring everything in the center so i'll just save it and you can see it's it's uh, it's right here right next thing what we need is dot digital lock and we will be uh, working f uh, the the box right the the box w which you saw earlier so this color is going to be FFF. So this is just uh, 
color of all the fonts and stuff right background is going to be hash and this is 2d 2f41 and width is going to be 75 percent height is going to be 70 percent and we will have padding of 20 pixel and 45 pixels and we will also have box shadow of 0 10 pixels 25 pixels and this is going to be same guy on the top so this one uh, 2d 2f41 and we will have border radius of 10 pixel as well and uh, all the normal stuff so display flex uh, justify content in the center and align items in the center and uh, so uh, this time direction will be column uh, I'll explain why so right here uh, uh, the reason we will have column is because we have time over here and we will have date over here you know let's just go ahead and add date as well so what we can do is go back to our index.html file and here uh, we have div which says time let's just do date and here what you can do is uh, should I create another div probably not for now so let's just do Sunday March uh, 22 2035 futuristic right so okay uh, do you see that's why we have a flex direction of column so if I comment this out and go back you see it's it's in a row right uh, that's not what we want so i'll just comment this back out and you can see it, it it's turning out to be great right so let's uh switch gears and what we can do is actually we can work on uh i like to work on javascript as well so let's work on javascript let's go go to script.js and uh, okay, let's start with const set clock. So this is going to be our function. Now, this is a, a ES6 function which is called arrow functions. And if you know, if you are not familiar with arrow functions, I do have a separate video on them. Uh, do check it out. Uh, there might be a uh, info card on the top and link in the description as well. So today is going to be this. So this will just give us today's date and uh, what we need here is we'll create one more function which is going to be format time and this is going to be this as well here and we'll get bunch of stuff here so we will get today date and we will we'll return a javascript object right which we can use later so we'll say hours equal to today date dot get hours we'll say let minutes equal to today date dot get minutes I'm just hoping that I spell it right and we'll probably have seconds as well doing the same thing today date got get seconds and next thing is so first we'll check for polarity so let period is going to be hours if it's greater than or equal to 22 we'll say p.m. or else it's going to be a.m. right and next thing is hours so the reason we have all this let uh, otherwise we we could have created constants but you will see why so we will do some sanitary checks right so this is for 24 hours uh, because this function uh, get hours returns 24 hours clock so if hours is greater than 12 what we'll do is hours modulo 12 and here we'll have hours just just like that next thing is hours equal to hours less than 10 question mark so uh, if if the hours is less than 10 you know what let's just uh, see right so that it's more easier to visualize let's just go ahead and return all this stuff so hours minutes seconds and period right there uh, okay and here we will so uh, basically right now in format time we are just returning a JavaScript object and here what we will do is 
will use those stuff so minutes seconds period and this is going to be format time right here and i'll just do this and we'll pass today's date next thing we need to select all this stuff so it's going to be document dot query selector uh, dot hours dot text content is going to be hours and just duplicate this stuff and here i'll just select this this and uh if you so the shortcut to select uh, another guy over here so make sure you click on the first one like uh, don't click here and uh, shortcut is command D if you hit command D right now it will go to the next line so just click here command D and we will say minutes uh, same thing we'll do here for seconds and let's do this for period and if I save it right now so you will see here uh, okay uh, the reason is we are not calling the function so we'll say set clock and we'll also set clock uh, so set interval and we will set clock yep uh, that's what it is set clock and we will have interval of let's say 1000 so that's going to be it will set clock every one every second so because this is in milliseconds I'll just close this guy here and refresh okay nothing's happening and why is that so is our script.js file working fine we can do defer here okay yeah make sure you add defer here and okay still not setting every second so what's going on here the function oh, okay I see what uh, here they are using arrow function but we just need to do set clock and if I just save it and you can see it updates i think we don't really need the defer like it's not that uh oh we really need that okay uh no problem let's just go back uh put that guy back and just save it and okay uh you can see time here so basically like when uh it's when when it's single digit right like when seconds is one two or minute is one two what what generally happens is why is my colon not here <laughs> okay right here uh, when uh, it's it's single digit it's it just shows single digit so let's uh, we need to append zero in front of that so we will do that right here uh, I mean right now it's hard to display that because it's 12 hours right now uh, in my time zone so anyways uh, we'll do that equal to hours if hours are less than 10 we'll say we'll do string uh, so we'll create a string we'll do zero plus hours or else we can just return hours because it's already modified and do the same thing for seconds and minutes so let's start with minutes right here and here we can do the same thing for seconds and just save it right there okay uh, our time looks pretty good right here next uh, let's work on the date part right let's get the date and we'll work on the CSS later on uh, next here we'll create one more function and so okay uh, pretty good pretty good uh, let's do this const and we'll say format date and this is going to be arrow function as well uh, another another thing like okay this is object destructuring like if you're not familiar with that part uh, make sure i do have a video on object destructuring as well so do check it out it will help you so here it's going to be date and same thing we'll pass in today date and what you can do is today date uh you know a uh, today date dot get date and next thing what you can do is year is equal to today date dot get full year uh, you know what we can do is just to get uh, autocomplete we can say new date and let's just remove this for now and uh, we'll replace that it's a nifty little trick right so I can do today date so that it now it knows 
that it's a date and we'll get autocomplete so we'll do day equal to today date dot so this is going to be to local string and we'll use default so this is going to be default language and here we'll say weekday and we need long and we'll do the same thing for month guy we'll do today date dot to local string same thing default and you can play around with all this part and here we'll say month and this is going to be short like uh, if you see all these options uh, play around like if you want uh, narrow or numeric uh, you can get that as well and next what we are going to do is we are going to construct our date object so we will start with day so it's going to be sunday blah 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 right so it's going to be month and next uh, we will have date and then we will have a comma yeah uh, same thing you can play around with this like suit suit your style right next what we need is so yeah let's go ahead and replace this like uh, if we forget it won't work uh, yeah just as a, a little trick right it's good to have good tricks under your tool belt uh, query selector like if you do something like this in an interview it's 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 game changer date dot text content and we will do just just format date and we will just pass today date because we already have it here somewhere uh, oh my god I'm calling in wrong part so I'll just remove this and let's just do it here and because we already have oh let's just change, change it to today because it's not date so right now it shows 2035 if I save this should be okay that's what it is today right uh, let's go ahead and start formatting adding more style to our CSS classes like personally I, I prefer doing JavaScript stuff so like I, I want to blend in like I don't want to write whole CSS on one in one go and like it it's it's not cool uh, at least for me I, I like to do it this way like break stuff so that we can have all the fun right and display is going to be flex for this guy justify content center and align items center so this will bring everything time in the center and it is in center now let's add all the cool stuff right so dot hours dot colon dot minutes and dot seconds okay display flex JC justify content center align item center I don't know why anyways uh, font weight is going to be 600 oh my god uh, let's make it find it because we did not select 600 font size and this did not work let's do 600 okay anyways uh, doesn't matter let's increase the font size and 200 pixels yeah nice it's turning out to be good next we will add padding and this is going to be 0 and 10 pixels right here and looks pretty good right let's add more stuff and it will look much better and colon here we will do font size and this is going to be 100 pixel like because colon colon are similar size to this I don't like that so I'll just save it and now colon are a little smaller and we will also change uh, color of colons so I'll just say color and this guy over here is going to be 929292 or let's bring it down a little I'll click here and we can get something more grayer yeah let's do 767676 okay uh, I like this next uh, we are almost there almost done so hours dot minutes dot seconds dot period dot date yeah all the stuff in one go this is going to be the fun part so here we will do webkit linear gradient and this is going to be 180 degrees and the color is 06 beb6 and this one 
is 48P1 and PF. B1, BF. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, next thing what we need is WebKit text fill color and this is going to be transparent make sure you spell it right uh, P A R E N T and uh, this should help why don't I get autocomplete so text fill color uh, let's do another one WebKit background let's see what happens if we save it okay we get this uh, I think it's it's working background and this is going to be clip which is going to be text and we will also add background clip which is going to be text as well and when we save it okay refresh and it doesn't work I think we messed up somewhere so this guy over right here webkit linear gradient webkit okay right here we only have one dash so just save it and i think i spelled transparent okay my bad okay it looks pretty cool right uh almost done let's add don't mind the train like it, it tracks are like right here so <laughs> okay so we don't need this part we just need this so it's going to be period and it's going to be font size of 50 pixel and font weight of 500 i think font weight is not working but we increased size of this guy here right now this is our period so if you like comment this guy out here you can see it's small so let's see is the font weight working like just uh, this is pretty thin if I comment this guy out here and save it it's still thin how about we change and make it 600 okay I think 600 seems to be working let's uh, it's hard to see right okay uh, let's not do that anyways oh we can do this Oh yeah it's working it's working awesome 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 okay we are almost done we just need to fix date part so display flex and justify content center and align items center then we will have font size of 50 pixel and font weight of let's do 600 because 600 seems to be working and margin bottom of five pixels and when I save this this guy is going to be full sized so I'll just save it and BAM that's what it is uh, looking pretty good right so uh, I guess it's looking great and uh, I will have a bunch of videos in the end screen somewhere uh, I think it may help you anyways so we are done with this build uh, if you and source code will be available in the description below if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for future videos just like this thank you until next time